All right, we'll take a look, see who comes out. Is it four or eight? Zeb Nolan, the 6'2", 232-pound graduate. Jaheim Bell set back to receive. Here's Cook to kick off for Vandy. Right-footed kicker puts his big paw into it. Bell's going to let it bounce and into the end zone. Be a touchback with 136 remaining. Well, that's a good call by, by Bell back there because you save time on the clock and you get a ball on the 25-yard line. So here we go, Gamecocks. 136 as Todd just said it. Let's see what we can do. Yep, Zeb Nolan coming in a tough circumstance. Got warmed up on the sideline. So Luke Doty sits down at 17 of 26, 242, two touchdowns and two interceptions. Zeb Nolan back into the lineup. He's not been in since Georgia. Raises the right leg to Quandre White, the quarter, the running back to his right. Three wide receivers left side. Nolan drops back deep, slings it out to the right side. White with one catch and steps out of bounds. Maybe a yard or two gained on the play, thinking that Vanderbilt was going to slide back in that zone and a good tackle or a hold by Vanderbilt to get White out of bounds with 130 remaining. They did back out, but the corner came up, made a nice play. Allen George, a veteran, fifth-year player from Alabama. So second down and nine. It's all about time right now, folks. 130. Four-man rush for Vanderbilt. Zeb Nolan. He's got Nick Hughes at the 37. Into Vanderbilt territory and out of bounds at the 45-yard line. A bullet from Zeb Nolan right in the chest of Nick Hughes. Good for 29 yards. And breathe life into this Gamecock offense with 122 remaining. Well, good move by Mews that time just yes. to get to that corner and get it out of bounds, too. So, Put it right on that outside shoulder so he could get to that sideline. A lot of zone from Vanderbilt. He's got three safeties back. Seb Nolan, first and 10 at the Vandy 45. He's in the pocket, got good protection. Steps back, outside throw towards the Vanderbilt. Edge incomplete on that sideline. Reaching out was Josh Fan, couldn't handle the football. Thrown into a tough spot. Josh tried to reach out, couldn't hold on to it. And that brings up second and 10 with 115 remaining. Oh, Josh. I'm not sure he didn't have it. They said he didn't have complete control of the turf. Zeb Nolan walks up, talks to his offensive line, steps back into the pocket. His team down by six. White in the backfield. Nolan in the pocket. Good protection again. Slings it out to White. Drops the football. There's a little swing out to the right side as they dropped in zone again. White could not handle it. And here comes third and ten. Two down situation, obviously, with 109 remaining. Well, Jonah was open downfield, I think. I want to go back and look at the tape on it, but it looked like to me that the, the safeties had gotten confused and the corner was coming up on White and Jonah had slipped behind him down there and uh, may have happened after the pass was thrown, but I don't think so. But Nolan, who wasn't even on the roster until August 24 trying to win the ball game for his team. In the pocket, looking down the field. Crossing route got it at the 30-yard line with 102 remaining. That's Josh Van. He looked right, 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 came back left in a 15-yard gain, and a Carolina first down with 59 seconds remaining. Carolina down by six, 20 to 14. Nolan in the pocket, good protection again. He's got a crossing route, and a man caught at the 10, stepping out of bounds to carry on Joyner. Zeb Nolan, a 21-yard completion on the play, and if they've got it, they do. It's first and goal with 48 seconds remaining. Nolan, three wide receivers over to the right. Timeout, Clark Lee wants. He's going to slow this Zeb Nolan machine down. Timeout, Vanderbilt. Nolan pumps his fist as he greets his teammates coming towards the sideline. Tommy, but how about the protection? Nobody even close around him on any of those throws. Well, uh, you're right, but they're, they're only rushing three and four people. But regardless, sometimes those guys get through. 
but I think Nolan is such a cool cookie. He clearly is a passer. He's not mobile. He's a passer, and he watch, he looks over the whole field, but we are giving him enough time to, to let our guys get open. And, but he knows where they are, and he puts it on the money. So, so far, so good. We've got to close this out. This is what Todd referred to earlier, that Coach Beamer has been saying several weeks now, we're just not closing drives out. We got to close this one out, guys. No timeouts remaining. 48 seconds left in the ball game. Carolina down by 6, 20 to 14. Zeb Nolan on this drive. Dot, here's a four of six. Tommy, 66 yards. Yeah, here's the thing. Here, do you try to throw it in, or you just try to sneak a run in? You certainly got time to run some. You do. Yeah, you got yeah. 48 seconds. So, and White will be the tailback to the right of Zeb Nolan. Zeb raises the foot up, wipes the hands off on his towel. Offensive line still talking. Man in motion to Xavier Leggett, left side. Play clock running down to four. Snap it back. Zeb in the pocket. Got some time. Looking in the back of the end zone. Crossing route incomplete. Too hard. Thrown behind his intended receiver, Xavier Leggett. It would have been tough on the play either way. And that incomplete pass brings up a second down and goal from the nine with 43 seconds remaining. Yeah, a little, little hard that time, but it was behind him. Had it been out front, I think he could have scored it. Tommy, but, I think you do have to run it in here. They're going to yeah. play soft zone. I do, too. And make you throw it underneath it. They know Zeb Nolan's not a threat. Let's see what White can do. He's to the right of Zeb Nolan. 43 seconds remaining, down by six. Nolan in the pocket, looking left side. Crossing route, back of the end zone, got him. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Xavier Leggett. Zeb Nolan comes off the bench, and the oldest guy on the team awakens his youthful joy and strikes for Carolina. The extra point could make it 21-20 with 37 seconds remaining at williams Bryce. Boom. Yeah, he got it. I thought he wasn't down, but his left foot came down when he ter- he caught it and turned around. So they're going to have to look at it, of course. They are now, but I think it's a touchdown. I don't think there's much question there. Xavier Legatti just drug all the way back across the back of the end zone. I saw it coming. Zeb waited and put it right in his chest. Tommy's right. He had to drag the feet. And here's Parker White with the ever-important extra point to potentially win it for Carolina. Snap it back, put it down, kick it up. Got it! Got it! Carolina doing whatever it has to do in the fourth quarter. Yes, Vanderbilt has been beaten 12 straight times by this team. Nobody wanted it to go down tonight. The streak, at least for the moment, is alive. You know, Todd, if you're Vanderbilt, you got to go back and say, you know, should we have rushed somebody? Should we have blitzed the linebacker? Because you know that Nolan is not mobile. You know he's not mobile, so he's not going to get away from it. But they didn't. And guess what? This kid came in, and he played. I mean, he. who knows what's going to happen at 37 seconds left. But, um, wow, the game, true Gamecocks, fight till you die, man. Fight to the death. And that's what they did. So we got to pull them through this final 37 seconds. Mitch Jeter to kick off. Yeah, Zeb Nolan, I don't know if his legs were warmed up, but that gun was a couple nice strikes, including how about the third down play to Josh Van? And this crowd cranks it up with Sandstorm as Mitch Jeter bumps one down the field, bouncing past the up back, all the way to the six. Carolina there, and they back him up at the eight-yard line. Rocco Griffin had to run back and get it. And what coverage by Carolina. Great kick, great coverage. Pete Limbo continues to love this team. That was Jaheim Bell on the tackle for Carolina. You know, I know it ended up like the way we wanted it, but I promise you, if that guy had gotten it about the 35-yard line, he they'd have headed it to 40. <laughs> but I love Limbo. I'm going to tell you, he's a great guy. I had a great conversation with he and Eric Kimry last week before the game. And, Great call that all worked. Let's don't second guess. I'm not second guessing. What the heck? I'm not saying that. Vanderbilt's got one timeout remaining. Carolina none. Right. Out of the gun. In the pocket. They knocked the ball away from him in the pocket. Carolina says they've got it. And they do. With 30 seconds remaining. A strip hit. 
by Jabari Ellis and J.J. Igbore. Ellis stepped on it. And Wright had the ball ripped out. And Carolina could seal it, win it, and take it to 13 straight and get Shane Beamer his first SEC win. And they can just hold on to it for 30 seconds. That's another All-American heating and air sack for soldiers for that sack and every other sack recorded by the Gamecocks this year. All-American heating and air will donate $100 to support our veterans. Boy, I did not see it. Did not see it. Zeb Nolan comes off the bench. Luke Doty looked good in the first half, threw some strikes, then had two interceptions, and now Carolina and Zeb Nolan will get in the victory formation. There's a knee. And it looks like Clark Lee will let it go. Shane Beamer runs across the field to shake a hand of an opposing SEC coach. And he does so with a W. His first win as a coach in the Southeastern Conference. And the second half was, as I say, coyote ugly. But at the end, Carolina came through in the drive that they needed. And the hero is Zeb Nolan. 